In this video, we're going to talk about what certification you should get if you want to learn about working with Microsoft servers on premise, as well as if you're dealing with Microsoft servers in the cloud, this video is going to be for you. Let's jump into it. So here's the question. Is the day of the server admins over? Well, I'm going to definitely tell you no to that, but I will say that the age of the MCSE, the Microsoft Certified Systems Engineer, has come to a close. And I look upon those days fondly because, again, I have pretty much every MCSE you could have from a Windows NT4 server in the 90s up to the latest version put food on my family's table for 20 years. I loved every minute of that material, learning it, teaching it, working with it. Of course, I'm just as excited about all the cloud stuff as you can be as well. If you haven't noticed or if you watch my videos, you can probably tell I'm very passionate about, uh, I guess you'd call me an evangelist when it comes to this stuff. I really love it. I think you can definitely make a great living at it. But what certification should you get if you are somebody that is still dealing with servers? Because yes, on premise, we are dealing with servers a lot still. I can tell you that as a consultant, not everybody's gone to the cloud. Servers are still out there companies still need people to manage them okay and even then if you do start migrating things to the cloud the cloud is still using servers as well okay you're gonna find Windows Server is still you know yes we can use Linux and all that yes Linux a little cheaper but you're still gonna have Windows servers for a lot of things going on because you just can't do everything with Linux uh, in the Microsoft world especially which is what I'm here to talk about. Now, before we get any further, I do want to say, please, I hope you'll give me a subscribe. Hope you'll like uh, and, and click that notification bell. I actually do give away some of my courses free. I'm actually going to be giving away my AZ-104 here pretty soon, completely free, but it only goes to the first 100 people. To, get, to be one of the first 100 people, if you like, subscribe and click that notification bell. It'll pop up right on your screen when I do that, and uh, you'll be one of the ones that can get that course for free if you want it. And I do that periodically. I give away a couple of my courses a month usually for free. Hope you'll check that out. I'm really working hard. Please give me a subscribe. I know you have to create an, a YouTube account. And I know that's a little bit of a pain. You can use your Google account, but uh, I hope you'll do that for me. I'm trying to grow this channel. Okay, so drum roll. What is the certification? that we should be looking at if we are wanting to become a server admin, okay? And do just like this guy in the picture and get to relax on a hammock all day. Yeah, that's exactly what we server admins do. Um, <laughs> I just like this picture. But anyway, uh, let's take a look. Here it is right here. It is the Microsoft Certified Windows Server Hybrid Administrator Associate Certification. So this would be the equivalent of the MCSE in today's world, though back in the MCSE days you had to pass seven to eight exams in order to get the certification. It was six exams in the 90s and it became seven exams in the early 2000s, eventually eight exams and then back to seven exams. So kind of jumped around a little bit over the years, but now it's actually just two exams and you can become a uh, server admin certified uh, well, it would be called Microsoft Certified Windows Server Hybrid Administrator Associate. And of course, you'd be learning about the on-premise servers, and then also uh, you would also be learning about cloud as well. So what, what does that typically entail? Okay, well, it's typically for uh, people that are looking to learn and perform tasks involving the, the Windows Admin Center, WAC, PowerShell, Azure Arc, the, uh, the infrastructure as a server for VM administration. You'll also be working with things like automated update management, Defender for Identity, Azure Security Center, Azure Migrate Monitor. So even though it's on-premise and you're learning all the, the on-premise uh, admin services, you're still going to be learning about cloud. So there's no direct just on-premise only, but this is going to be the certification for you if you want to learn the on-premise server admin stuff, as well as start migrating into the cloud. Now, what are what does that entail? Here's the certification, and there's basically two exams you have to get in order to do that. You have to pass. You would start with the first one. This is the AZ-800 exam, AZ-800 administering Windows Server Hybrid Core, and with that, um, you would be essentially uh, going through and learning the on-premise stuff this is going to be great for somebody that's an admin who is wanting to learn things like, if we go right here, we can see 
the topics here. All right, things like deploying uh, ADDS on-premise, working with server and hybrid workloads, setting up virtual machines and containers, working with domain controllers, read-only domain controllers, also known as RODCs, FISMO roles, flexible single master operations, Active Directory sites, all of this stuff. So there's a lot about Active Directory here. Microsoft Intra, uh, Intra ID, formerly known as Azure AD, also the integration with that. So that's the first exam. Second exam is the 801, the AZ801, configuring Windows Server hybrid advanced service, services. Okay, so you go there, taking a look at some of the topics that you'd be learning there, configuring exploit protection, defender for application control, getting into dealing with all the password related stuff, both on premise as well as in the cloud. Okay, so again, a lot here you can do, a lot here you can learn. And if you're interested, I have both of those courses on my website. If you go to examlabpractice.com slash courses, I actually have a coupon code on there right now. It's got a, a big discount. A lot of these courses go from $100, and uh, the price is knocked down to like uh, $10 to $12. So always check out my website on that. But anyway, if we go look at that right now, you can see the course. There's my AZ800 uh, course for you right there. And then I can take a look at my AZ801. So if you're interested, you can check those out. Okay, I do have uh, YouTube videos too that give you the first couple of hours of those courses if you want to check that out also. But that is going to be the certification you should go after. If you want to learn on-premise cert, if you're wanting like the closest thing you can get to MCSE, it's going to be this Microsoft certified Windows Server Hybrid Administrator certification. It's going to teach you what you want to know about the on-premise. You're going to be learning about Active Directory ADDS, as well as how it's going to work in regards to the cloud. All right, well, that's going to do it. I hope you'll give me a like and subscribe. Click that notification bell, and I appreciate it, and I hope you're enjoying my content. I'm going to have more coming your way. <music>